The mood in this market in Bongi is just right for Christmas festivities. Central Africans take their celebrations seriously and traders are making a killing. It's also an election season. They go to the polls on Sunday and the main worry is security. We are concerned about our safety of course, but it's Christmas and who doesn't want a good cheer? Not everyone is in a festive mood though. Many residents want to get their voices heard. Some through religious processions praying for peace. Others like these women condemn the newly formed Patriots for Change, a coalition of several armed groups that has threatened to march to the city and is already causing havoc in the countryside. Since 1966, our country has gone through coups rebellions, mutinies, and each time it sets us back. The 2013 conflict brought us a lot of sorrow. Women have been raped, many people have died, and others displaced. They are hoping that the 12,000 UN peacekeepers in the country, alongside government troops and other international forces, will keep the patriots for change at bay. They're saying they just want a peaceful election. This is a country that has been in conflict for so long and the humanitarian needs are huge. More than half the population needs some form of aid and hundreds of thousands of Central Africans are refugees in neighboring countries. CAR has survived five coups amid constant instability since gaining independence from France in 1960. The latest conflict started about seven years ago when the then president Francois Bozize was overthrown by a mostly Muslim armed group called Seleka. Reprisals by the mainly Christian anti Balaka only made things worse. A peace deal signed between 14 rebel groups and the government in 2019 brought about some calm, but now violence is again on the rise. We have the poorest people now hiding in rural areas. They are scared. They are in anguish. As a father, a man of the church, I ask those who have picked up weapons to have pity on us. All the presidential candidates are promising peace. Many Central Africans say they are tired of broken promises. But here at the market, they tell us they want to take the weight of their country's politics off their shoulders for just a little while to have a Merry Christmas. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Bongi.